the messed room was over here. And Baba's room, of those two doors, the one facing the wall here was Baba's. The other one was a bathing room. And out here, Baba had a tea stall and a beanie stall for the must. In May 1927, Baba brought the mandali up here. And he measured off the four corners of his samadhi, what would become his samadhi. I told him he wanted a, a, a structure here so he could go into seclusion. So they built a, a, um, a shed here. And it was completed by the 30th of June. Baba went in for one night. And then between the 30th of June and the 16th of August, 1927, the pit was dug six by six, and I think it's four or five feet wide. And um, Baba went in for uh, a number of days inside. At that time, he also told them he was going to be going, uh, he would soon be going for a five and a half month period of fasting and uh, seclusion in there. So to prepare all of that, he instructed the women to give him two cups of milk coffee a day. And he had the Prim Ashram boys by that time up here. And he would, he would uh, relate his messages to them through the window there. He would put a plank across the crepe. And that's how he would relay messages when he needed to. So Baba went in on the 10th of, the 10th of November, 1927, for five and a half months uh, of fasting and seclusion. After that time, when he came out, he went down to the women. He was quite upset. He said, what kind of love is this you have for me? All I ask of you for five and a half months is two cups of milk coffee a day, and you send only one? Women know Papa. Every day they measured exactly two cups of milk coffee, and they sent it up with a village boy in a thermos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Baba calls Lahu to him. Lahu finally breaks down in the midst, halfway up the hill every day. He got thirsty, he drank half, and left the other half for Baba. So poor Baba didn't even get two cups of milk coffee a day. But of course Baba embraced him and forgave him. Now, in 1938, the samadhi was built as we see it now today, with the bricks from, from the uh, post office. Later, a stone mason from Bombay had carved the four structures that are on the corner. You have Zoroastrian, Hindu, Muslim, and Christian. And later, the dome, I don't have the exact date right now, but later the dome was added, and uh, that would be Buddhist. In 1938, when the stone structure was built, uh, Baba had brought all his eastern and western women here, and he had the upper story of the study hall built, what is now our study hall. Before that, the western disciples were staying at the ashram in Nasik. Uh, but then, by 1938, he had brought them here. Helen Dom was one of the western women disciples. She is the one who did the paintings of the murals. Baba would come and give her instructions on what he wanted. And under her direction, I mean, under his direction, she painted the murals. The, um, she also did a very beautiful photo a painting of Baba, and it was placed inside the window there. When, um, then one day Baba had it brought to him, and so they put a photograph of Baba in there that was kept for many, many years. That photograph is now here in Baba's room. After that, in 1991, the painting done by Charlie Morton was put in there. And at the time, there was such a ruckus when Charlie's painting was put. They got letters from all over. We want a, we want a photograph of Baba. We don't want someone's interpretation of him. We'd rather have that photograph. Others said, why did you pick this artist and not another artist? And others said, there are other artists that are better than this one. I mean, all kinds of controversy. Mani so tactfully sent a very clear explanation about it, and it was sent to all the centers throughout the world. What she said was that 20, Charlie had been working on this for 20 years. Mara, Charlie, Mara worked with Charlie all the way until she, until she went to Baba in 1989. Charlie would work on it. He's from Los Angeles, California. He'd work on it, then he would bring it here, show it to Mara, Mara would make the corrections, and then he would go back and work on it some more. This went on for 20 years until Mara dropped the body, and the next two years until it was finally put in, Mani worked with Charlie. 
And so basically what it comes down to, this is what Mara wanted. Mara chose Charlie. There we, all was quiet after that. <laughs>